DJ Cicero. Chicka chicka chick, chicka chicka chick, chicka 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 chick. That's just an example of what you can expect tonight at the DJ Cicero party. Come on down to Cicero, Illinois. It's going to be a hot jam with DJ Cicero, the greatest DJ in Cicero, Illinois, only 30 minutes away from Chicago. Thanks for that commercial. And now, I'm here again filling in for Dazzling Cool Cat Jones. Today, we're going to take a look at uh, George Carlin, one of the greatest. And religion is bullshit. Are you ready, Warren? Good thing. Good stuff. Let's get it popping, as they say on the streets. And play. But in the bullshit department, in the bullshit department, a businessman can't hold a candle to a clergyman. Oh, clergyman. Truth, folks, I got to tell you the truth. When it comes to bullshit. Yeah. Big time, major league bullshit. Major league you bullshit. Have to stand in awe in awe of the all-time champion of false promises and exaggerated claims, religion. Oh, no religion. Contest. George no Carlin, as they say, is going in. <laughs> religion, religion easily has the greatest bullshit story ever told. What's that? Think about it. Religion has actually convinced people uh -huh. that there's an invisible man living in the sky <laughs> he watches everything you do every minute of every day and the invisible man has a special list of 10 things he does not want you to do don't do it and if you do any of these 10 things he has a special place full of fire and smoke and burning and torture and anguish where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever till the end of time but he loves you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Comedy. Nice build up and then the punchline, right? You get it, Warren. Me and you are on the same page. George Carlin, he was amazing. He loves you and he needs money. Hmm. He always needs money. He's all powerful, all perfect, all knowing and all wise. Somehow, just can't handle money. Just can't handle money. What Religion, can you say about they that? They spend billions of dollars, they pay no taxes, and they always need a little more. Now, you talk about a good bullshit story. Holy shit. Ha 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 ha! I always love how people play on words, telling a good story. That's all part of being a good communicator. Am I right? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. But I want you to know, I want you to know something. This is sincere. I want you to know, when it comes to believing in God, I really tried. I really, really tried. I tried to believe that there is a God who created each of us in his own image and likeness, yeah. loves us very much, and keeps a close eye on things. I really tried to believe that, but I got to tell you, the longer you live, the more you look around, the more you realize something is fucked up. Something is Something fucked up. Is it's all here. fucked up. War, disease, death, destruction, hunger, filth, poverty, torture, crime, corruption, and the ice capades. <laughs> Something is definitely wrong. I love the ice capades. I went to the work. ice capades when I was six. God can do Disney on ice. Press. It was fun, Results fun, fun. You belong on the resume of a supreme being. This is the kind of shit you'd expect from an office temp with a bad attitude. Uh. And just between you and me, in between you and me, in any decently run universe, this guy would have been out on his all-powerful ass a long time ago. Hmm. By the way, I say this guy because I firmly believe, looking at these results, that if there is a God, it has to be a man. No woman could or would ever fuck things up like this. I don't know, George. I think there are plenty of women who will fuck some shit up. Yeah. Just like there's plenty of men. Yeah. People fuck if shit up. If there is a God, if there is, I think most reasonable people might agree that he's at least incompetent and maybe, just maybe, doesn't give a shit. Ha! Huh? Doesn't give a shit. Nah. Which I admire in a person and which would explain a lot of these bad results. 
So rather than be just another mindless religious robot, mindlessly and, and aimlessly and blindly believing that all of this is in the hands of some spooky, incompetent father figure who doesn't give a shit, yes. I decided to look around for something else to worship. Something I could really count on. And immediately, I thought of the sun. Oh, and worship the back. sun. Overnight, it's I out right now today. In, 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 in uh, where am I again? You can't see the sun at night. Cicero, Illinois. First thing the next morning, I became a sun worshiper. Several reasons. First of all, I can see the sun, okay? <laughs> yeah. Unlike some other gods I could mention, I can actually see the sun. Seeing is like believing, that. that's what I say. I don't know, kind of helps the credibility along, you know? <laughs> so every day I can see the sun as it gives me everything I need. Heat, light, food, flowers in the park, reflections on the lake. An occasional skin cancer, but hey, <laughs> at least there are no crucifixions and we're not setting people on fire simply because they don't agree with us. Ah. Sun worship is fairly simple. There's no mystery, no miracles, no pageantry, no one asks for money, there are no songs to learn, and we don't have a special building where we all gather once a week to compare clothing. <laughs> this is true. Better, Comparing clothing is something people do all the time. The never By the way, do you like this shirt? Doesn't tell me I'm a bad person who needs to be saved. Hadn't said an unkind word. Treats me fine. So, I worship the sun. But, I don't pray to the sun. Know why? I wouldn't presume on our friendship. Ah, it's that's thinking, so George. But that's thinking. People treat God rather rudely, don't you? Asking you know, trillions and trillions of prayers every day, asking and pleading and begging for favors. Do this, give me that. I need a new car. I want a better job. And most of this praying takes place on Sunday, his day off. Ha ha ha! It's not nice. On the day There's off, no you just want to relax, to right, Warren? But people do. Of pray. course, they you pray do. For a lot of different things. You know, your sister needs an operation on her crotch. Your, your brother was arrested for defecating in a mall. Uh. But most of all, you'd really like to fuck that hot little redhead down at the convenience store. You know, the one with the eye patch and the club foot. Huh? Can you pray for that? Hmm. I think you'd have to. And I say, fine, pray for anything you want. Yes, yeah, fine, for pray for whatever you want. What about the divine plan? Remember that? The divine plan. Long time ago, God made a divine plan. Gave it a lot of thought, decided it was a good plan, put it into practice. And for billions and billions of years, the divine plan has been doing just fine. Now you come along and pray for something. Well, suppose the thing you want isn't in God's divine plan. What do you want him to do? Change his plan? Hmm. Just for you? Just that for you, yes. Arrogant? It's a divine plan. What's the use of being God if every rundown schmuck with a $2 prayer book can come along and fuck up your plan? <laughs> and here's something else, another problem you might have. Suppose your prayers aren't answered. What do you say? Well, it's God's will. Thy will be done. Fine. But if it's God's will and he's going to do what he wants to anyway, why the fuck bother praying in the first place? Uh, George is deep. Deep, 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 gets you thinking. Part and go right to his will. It's all very confusing. So to get around a lot of this, I decided to worship the sun. But as I said, I don't pray to the sun. You know who I pray to? Joe Pesci. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. He's a classic. Two reasons. First of all, I think he's a good actor, okay? He's a damn he's a good, good actor. actor. Second, he looks like a guy who can get things done. <laughs> Joe Pesci doesn't fuck around. Doesn't fuck around. In fact, in fact, Joe Pesci came through on a couple of things that God was having trouble with. For years, I asked God to do something. What's about your favorite Joe Pesci movie? Huh? Cuff. Joe Pesci. I say Goodfellas. With one visit, it's amazing what you can accomplish with a simple baseball bat. Oh no! Tell me it's not so, George. For about a year now, and I noticed something. I noticed that all the prayers I used to offer to God and all the prayers I now offer to Joe Pesci are being answered at about the same 50% rate. 50-50. Life is all about half, half, half and half. half. Same as God, 50-50. Same as the four-leaf clover in the horseshoe, the wishing well in the rabbit's foot. Same as the mojo man. Same as the voodoo lady who tells you your fortune by squeezing the goat's testicles. It's all the same, 50-50. So just pick your superstition, sit back, make a wish, and enjoy yourself. 
And for those of you who look to the Bible for moral uh, lessons and literary qualities, I might suggest a couple of other stories for you. Uh, you might want to look at the Three Little Pigs. That's ha! a good one. Has a nice, happy ending. I'm sure you'll like that. Then there's Little Red Riding Hood, although it does have that X-rated part where the big bad wolf actually eats the grandmother. Which I Little Red Riding Hood the scared the hell out of me as and a finally, kid. I've often always drawn a great deal of moral comfort from Humpty Dumpty. The part I liked the best, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. That's because there is no Humpty Dumpty and there is no God. None, not one, no God never was. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it this way. If there is a God, if there is a God, may he strike this audience dead. Ah, ha, ha. Nice play on words. Nothing you think he was going to say himself, but he said the audience. Right. You get it? Ha. Clever. Very clever. I'll raise the stakes. I'll raise the stakes a little bit. If there is a God, may he strike me dead. See? Nothing happened. Oh, wait. Got a little cramp in my leg. And my balls hurt. Plus, I'm blind. I'm blind. Oh, now I'm okay again. Must have been Joe Pesci, huh? God bless Joe Pesci. Thank you all very much. Joe bless you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, that was good. George, George Carlin, religion is bullshit. I gotta love it. He was one of our greatest comedians. I loved him to death. Well, until next time, my friends, DJ Cicero saying peace and love. And as always, as my good friend, Dazzling Cool Cat Jones always says, dream big, dare to be great. Pieces. Oh la la. Yes. Yeah.